Hello guys, welcome to another video of Carolina EDC Reviews. We are doing this unboxing kind of impression of this product from the guys uh Mara or Mira Safety, however you want to pronounce it. But that was kind enough to send me, so this was sent to me to the channel to try out again. Just kind of show you how well it works and everything. And again, this is something that you may be uh considering now that the way things are nowadays you never know what may happen but it's always good to have something at least for yourself and your family uh in case something does happen uh, as far as chemically or nuclear uh you know something may happen who never knows so <laughs> anyway this guys uh there was kind of again to send me one of these which i really appreciate make sure to check the guys out and i'll put all the specs and everything on the bottom the description you can read it that way if you i miss something or whatever uh you can look back and check down below where to get and everything and prices and everything so again um thank you to uh mira omara safety however you want to pronounce it um you know these are going to be um most commonly known as gas masks um again this is for the prepper or somebody that's you know uh, looking to have some kind of protection for the family and everything and again this is will be a full face max uh, and it's uh it's got the filter car cartridges which is required uh which we got one right here and it's sold separately now these typically run around some between 100 and 200 dollars depending on which models you get they got different model now this one's going to be more of a um, shooters type things uh, but there's some pros and cons to this now i'm not very too um in detail with this just pretty much how well it fit for me and what may work for some people and everything i've been messing with it trying it out and everything so let's open it up and see what we got now this model is going to be the myra safety cm7 and m now again they have different models and everything uh this coming out of austin texas made in the czech republic so yeah so they're making this mask for a long time uh, these things do have an expiration date, 8, 20, 40, so that's a very long time, uh, 20 plus years. So, so, anyways, this is how it comes. <clears throat> and again, this is what they sent me. So, um, all right, the Mars Safety CM7 military gas mask is a CBRM protection military, special forces, police, squad, or rescue teams, however you want to, you know, classify as. But <clears throat> this one is compatible with a drinking straw and it does have come with a canister here, which is something that you can use, um, you know, connect to to drink some water without taking your mask off and everything. So these kind of pretty neat. Uh, we're not going to try that. So don't worry about that. <clears throat> so the mask comes sealed. Like I said, I already opened it and checked it out. Um, you got some sticker swags. Here's the uh, directions, some more. Um, you know, stuff here, pretty much telling you the technical, uh, the, the specs and everything about the, um, type of filters and all that cool stuff, which I never understood none of the stuff, but anyways, <laughs> and everything you need to know. So if you want to pause and read, there you go. And this one is going to use the NBC 77, uh, SOF CBRM filter canister, which is right here sealed up and everything and i get and again um you can look all the stuff on their website was this filter is tested for as you can see um you know pretty careful a lot of things as you can see so i'm not going to get all technical that's something you want to look up you can look at but uh the component of these uh masks again as you can see canisters there's this straw here you can uh put into the mask without taking it off drinking um you got the visor striping system speaker body insert exhalation chamber two inhalation chambers fluid intake system plus the bottle with special stopper so with this one you can speak through it uh, it's not going to be real clear but you can still understand what people are saying and we're going to try that out um and then show the instruction how to put it on and everything and how to you know dolphin whatever they call it dolphin procedures and donating procedures terms i don't know why they call them that but on and off for me english <laughs> but anyway there it is technical data again i'll try to put some of this stuff down there and 
it's not really that hard. Just put the mask on. Make sure you seal, of course. Uh, facial hair can prevent for good seal. So if you got facial hair, it's going to prevent a good seal. Now, this is a high quality material um, mask here. Again, they are not cheap, but they are well made. Uh, as you can see, you got the mesh here for com comfort, uh, you know, on your head and everything. You got the elastic bands you can adjust all the way around. Um, and again, you have the um, uh, drinking straw right there that you can drink out of. You can move it out of the way and you can connect it towards the front here. As you can see, it's got the hoses that you connect. And you got the, I guess you call the speaker, if so, whatever you want to call it, here in the front that you can hear talk. And the canister hooks here, you can put one or two. Um, it does have the plug here to cover this one. Um, you know, if you're gonna use this in a battle or something, uh, make sure to put the canister in the, in the opposite side that you shoulder your firearm or your rifle, whatever. It's got a drainage here or a filter, whatever. Um, you know, to keep moisture and everything drain down there if you maybe the water or something gets down there, but it's all the way around good seal and everything. Um, as far as for people to wear glasses, uh, it may work, might not, but we want to try it out here because, uh, depending if you wear glasses, I don't know how well it will seal around the, the, um, the part where the ear is, the arms of the glasses, but, um, We'll try it out. So that's the mask for this pretty much high quality uh, rubber uh, material, whatever they use. You have the uh, glass here and everything or plastic, whatever they make it out of and recessed in. So if you drop it or set it down, it won't scratch it and mess it up. But I'm sure they got replacements for this somehow. You can replace those if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, pretty much looks kind of creepy in a way. But that is the uh, safety mirror safety CM seven millimeter or seven M military gas mask. So that's for the military type police and all that use around the world, military and everything. And of course, you got your standard canister here you connect to. Nothing very fancy, just a plastic canister here. All right. So they have different type filters and everything, but the most common is going to be this one they're going to be using with. And again, this is going to be. And I'm not going to open this because I want to keep it sealed in case when I do need it, um, you know, you got to keep it sealed. And it does have a 20 year shelf life. So uh, that's a very long time. So as you can see, it comes sealed just like the mask does. And again, this is going to be the NBC uh, 77 40 millimeter canister here. And it's pretty much for radioactive uh, dust particle chemical all that good stuff, pretty much just about everything that's gonna filter to this filter for chemical nuclear type situation. Um, of course, canisters come separately. I'd recommend to get a few of them if you have multiple um, multiple um, masks. Uh, as far as how long they filter for, not really sure. You have to check the website, but um, make sure to do the research of that. So, all right. Enough talking, eight minutes. Pretty simple, I said. Nothing real fancy uh, about this um, as far as, um, you know, how to put it on and off. But we're going to put it on. We're going to step outside, you know, kind of see how well it works for if you use a firearm, if you're in a war or defending yourself or when HATF, you know, hit the fan, whatever. Uh, how will this perform uh, if he was using it? to survive outside in a, you know, in a radioactive type situation, no nuclear war, whatever. Um, how well can you use a firearm wearing this and how well you can see. So let me put it on and just kind of show you and give you my opinion how well you know it functions as far as me wearing it and holding a firearm. So stand by. All right, guys, I don't know if you can hear me, uh, but yeah, this what it looks like. Um, you know, adjust it to your Make sure you got a good seal, man. There we go. So, as far as holding the rifle and looking for the sights, it is, it is doable. And you can see the sight, especially if you got an optic, you don't have to get real low, real low to the uh, to the side to look through. I hope you can hear me. So, um, you know, feels good. It seals real well. It's comfortable with the mesh. 
it does go real low below your chin right here. I don't know if you can see that, but um, other than that, I mean, it's comfortable, it's doable. Just take practice, make sure to practice, depending on what firearm you have. Um, you know, it's gonna take time and training, but uh, yeah. And the task can be adjusted, tightened, everything. Um, the cool thing about this, uh, the ends are sewing together like this in the loop, so it's not gonna go all the way. You know, the strap is not gonna come off all the way. And again, you got the breathing speaker, or whatever you wanna call it, uh, here, and your drinking straw here. You can take it off like that, so, and put it back in. Hooks right there just fine. And again, you get the plug here for this one. And then you got the other one right here for your filter, as you can see. But I can still breathe pretty good to this. Uh, the lens doesn't fall, which is cool. Uh, as you can see, it's got a good seal on it. And again, you can have it. Again, depending on how much facial hair you got, I do have a goatee, but it goes all the way inside. So I got plenty seal here. And again, you got the drain valve here and everything. Yeah, I like it. Uh, again, trying to get used to it. Uh, but we're gonna step outside and take a few rounds. Now it's gonna be very hot, so I'm not gonna be wearing this the whole time. Just wanna take a few shots to make sure I can hit the target and uh, give my opinion and why you should get one of these. So stay tuned. All right, guys, hope you can hear me. Again, the Mara uh, gas mask, the outside now is gonna be a hot one. Not gonna do this for a long time, but anyway, a lot of go say, well, why you don't have the canister? Again, I wanna save the canister when I do need it. So again, thank you to uh, Mara for sending the mask again to take those guys out. Anyways, we're gonna shoot with the uh, Glock 19 here. Again, I wear glasses, so I may not hit the target, but just to see if I can get a good sight picture with the mask on, with the air platform and the pistol. So here we go. can see the sights very well again my left eye is not as best going blind on it but my dominant is gonna be my right eye so i can see the uh the pistol i can see around me what's going on and i can you know be aware of my surroundings at all times all right so let's throw this down let's see how well i can do with the ar and this is my 12 and a half let me know if you want to see a review on this one all right here we go difficult to uh, see through the red dot of course uh, get a good sit well again I wasn't trying to hit the target or anything like that just trying to see if I was able to get a, a side picture again it's, it is going to be a little bit difficult but it's doable uh, again the way depending on what platform you have make sure you train with it if you're going to use something like this or have something like this all right so I'm gonna take this off step to my car and give my opinion on this so stay tuned all right guys my final opinion on the mara or mira however you pronounce it uh mass gas max for pretty much uh anything nuclear radiation anything like that uh you know they have the canisters again they're sold separately make sure to show the uh check the website to different types of masks uh, i like to try the one with the full glass or plastic whatever it's on the front uh to be able to see and maybe that will help me because like i say without my glasses i'm pretty much blind so maybe that'd be something to take consideration uh, i know that's not gonna it's gonna uh kind of mess with the seal all around your face if you wear glasses but you know it is what it is just gotta work around it but anyways if you're looking for something if you're a survivor uh prepper or, or whatever uh and you're looking for gas mask good quality very very nice quality gas mask i think it'll 
um, you know, they got a life shelf of how many years, and uh, I can't remember now, <laughs> but they do last for a long time, and you can, you know, reuse it many million times, and the good thing is, it's got this, um, be able to hear somebody talking through the mask. Also, the uh, the valve here for your bottled water, if you need to use water, uh, right here, you can connect them, put it away if you don't need it, uh, without taking your mask, which is pretty cool. Again, thank you for Mara for Safety for sending the mask. I really like this mask but also like to try the other ones as well because I wear glasses again. Uh, as far as be able to, you know, use a firearm with it, uh, it is gonna be a little more difficult to get a nice cheek well without breaking the seal around your face and be able to take some shots. But again, practice makes better, right? So practice, if you're gonna uh, train or uh, if you use this for whatever reason, uh, it's best to do is to train with it and see how well you can do with it as far as using a rifle or a handgun, whatever. But guys, that's pretty much it. Again, thank you to Mirror Safety for sending the gas mags and the canister, which I, like I said, I was gonna go and open because it got 20 years shelf, shelf life. So don't need it unless I really do need it. Um, you know, keep it sealed up and protected from when I do need it. Anyways, <laughs> that's pretty much guys. That's probably all I have pretty much. I uh, check that Mirror Safety again for any gas mask equipment, any other kind of stuff they have as far as gas masks. And I appreciate those guys for sending the mask for me for check it out. So guys, that's pretty much it. Check the links down below, description of all this uh, mask and everything and where you can get it. I'll notate it as well. Follow me on all social media, especially Instagram. That's where I'm at, mostly active all time to show you what comes up next on the channel or any products or giveaways in that case. Usually do one one giveaway a month. So that's pretty much it. That's all I like to say. Uh, we do have join button. Make sure to support my channel. That's the best way to support channel. Use the coupon codes, affiliate links, all that good stuff. You know how that works. That's the best way to support this channel. Uh, you know, to keep bringing content like this and more giveaways, discount codes and stuff like that. Guys, that's pretty much it. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.